And this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. There's a number of liturgical vessels that you'll see up on the altar during the Mass. They're called vessels because they, they carry the body and blood of Christ. And there's a number of items, that, and then also these are meant to be the altar cloths that you'll see up during the Mass. The first one, this is a small plate called a paten. And this is the plate that's going to be used by the priest to hold the consecrated host during the Eucharistic prayer. And along with that small plate, <clears throat> which is called a paten, the Eucharistic body, the bread, is distributed in something called a ciborium. And these are the other plates. They're usually bowl-shaped to be able to carry lots of hosts that carry the body of Christ. So we've got the body, which was bread, there. And then here you have something to hold the wine, the consecrated um, blood. The, the main cup is called a chalice. And the others are just called communion cups. So usually the communion cups are the ones that are being used by the Eucharistic ministers to distribute the precious blood to the congregation. The chalice is what the priest drinks out of during the, the Mass. is what he's using to hold up, to bless the wine, to, to have it be transformed into the body, or excuse me, the blood of, of Christ. Before that, you'll see also these tiny little glass pitchers. They're called cruets with water and wine up in the altar. And you'll see during the, <clears throat> the, the Eucharistic liturgy, the liturgy of the Eucharist, the priest will pour a little bit of that water, just a drop of water into the chalice along with the wine. And that symbolizes <clears throat> the, the humanity and divinity of Jesus that being mixed together and, and combined. So those are, the <clears throat> those are the items that you'll see as liturgical vessels. What about the altar cloths? The first is simply that, called the altar, altar cloth. This is the large white cloth draped over top of the altar. And then in the center of that altar cloth, where all of these other vessels are going to be held, is something called <clears throat> the corporeal. And that's a word that means body. That's because that's where the body of Christ is going to sit on top of the altar, this flat cloth here. <clears throat> the cloths that you usually see with the Eucharistic ministers who are wiping the um, communion cups is called a purificator. The purificator does just that. It purifies, if you will, the vessels so that every drop of the precious blood isn't spilled or, or dripping down the, the communion cup. And also just for kind of sanitary purposes as we're sharing that cup together. The square cloth put on top of, and it's very stiff, put on top of the chalice is called the pall. And that's that, you'll see it very flat sitting on top of the, cup, the, the chalice. And again, for kind of a practical purpose, making sure that there aren't any contaminants into the blood. So it's really, really important to have these cloths. And why is all this stuff important? Because we need to recognize that this is the presence of, this is the actual body and the actual blood of Christ. So we need to treat it with the reverence of God, which is why all these sacred vessels are used during the Mass, which is why we're always making sure that even any drop or crumb of Jesus' body and blood is being taken care of. These altar cloths, these, these, these items, are being washed with reverence in such a way that all of the water that is going that's being used to wash them it, it's going down into the ground so that any drop of wine that might be wiped off with a purificator is going into the ground as opposed to um, just in your regular just you know washing machine if you will so these are all treated with with sacred respect because we recognize that again Jesus is present in the body in the blood of Christ which were bread and, and wine so those are the sacred vessels and, and, and um, cloths you'll see up in the, in the altar during the, the Mass. Go make disciples. God bless.